All right, jury, one by one you'll be called down here. You can address Brent and Emily with either a comment or a question. Or a little bit of both. So let's start with our first jury member, Aaron. Come on down. Thank you, Paul. Honored to be here. So my, my, I have a couple of questions for each of you, of course, and so they'll be brief, be kind of short. And I'll start with Emily. Okay. So Emily, do you know what the deepest place on the earth is? The deepest place on the earth? Yeah, do you know where that's Hell. at? Hell. Hell? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The Mariana's Trench. Oh, darn it. Very good, Brent. It is the Mariana's <laughs> Trench. Good. Do you have any idea how deep that place is? It's probably pretty deep. Pretty deep? That's where you want to throw me? No, 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 I wouldn't want to throw you there. Like, how deep do you think that is? Very deep. It'd be like 36,198 feet. I was possibly. thinking that was the number that popped in my head. About around there. Yeah. Well, I have another question for you. Do you know how big my love is for you? Um, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I don't. You don't want to take a guess? Not really. Can I use a little one? I don't know. I think I, I know where your love should be. Where should it be? It should be in Mariana Trench. <laughs> ah, okay. Because it's tired about this big for you, but it's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench where it's about that big. <laughs> but you know what? I hear Leech just survived down there, so you could go get it if you wanted to. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Brent. What is morally and ethically correct about conniving to stick together the whole time with each other while you stab your other alliance is in the back? Um, I really, I don't feel like we stabbed our other alliances in the back. And, like, and the reason that I voted for you first, like, it sounds cliche, but it's a backwards compliment. Like, because I really, like, I thought you were such a big threat, both physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, that's... Take, take it for what Take it how it is. Just like the story of Judas, huh? Just take it how it is, huh? Yeah. So do I cast my vote now or do I go back? You go back, sit down, we'll call up the next member. Excellent, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> next up is Tully. This is fun. Congratulations. Um, I just have uh, just one question for each of you. It'd be the same question. And that is, I want you to answer... Um, uh, how your strategy differed from the other person's strategy and how yours was better. Brent, why don't you start? Um, I think one of the biggest differences was mine, like I was less visible than Emily. She was uh, kind of, she was kind of the mastermind, like... The overmind. Yeah, the, sure. Dark the, the overmind. <laughs> there you go. I, I can relate. <laughs> but I, I teamed up with Emily and, and then we went and we made it here. So I, I would just say less visible. What, um, sorry. What what was wrong with this? I think she, she was too visible. Um, she, like you know, like she came off as the Doberman. Okay, Emily. Well, I I don't like beg to differ. Like yes, I I was visible, but I feel like that I took a risk. Brent, I mean, not that he didn't take a risk. Like he got out there physically and risked himself at the challenges. But I feel like I took a risk telling everyone who to vote for, and I I conferred with the alliance, but. Ultimately, I was the one that had to go and tell people who to vote for. Like, I was the one going around camp telling everyone who to vote for, even though we, we talked about it as a tribe. So I had to, I was taking a risk, and I thought the best strategy would be to, to have the numbers, to go in there, to stay strong, and to vote off the people who are going to threaten our alliances. Like, Tully, you would have been a mastermind. You would have been the Michael of this place if you had stayed in. And we, I mean, do you, do you, I mean, I guess you can judge me for, for voting you off because I, I mean, Essentially, I did, but it's like, I'm would not you not have done the after. same thing? Like, I'm, it's not, like, I'm not judging you after all. I'm just I, asking a question. Well, yeah. All right, did you get the answers you wanted? Yeah. All right, thanks, Tully. Michela. I wanted to go a little away from the strategy and just kind of ask each of you, what do you think your biggest mistake was or if there was anything you'd do differently? Honestly, I don't want to, I don't know how this comment will come off, but honestly, I seriously feel undeserving and I would much rather have seen Kia or Kyle sitting here like I, f I honestly feel like the hardest vote was voting off Kia because it's like she was so into it and we had that alliance and so that was extreme and I felt that she was she is more deserving than me I'm just gonna say it like and so that was that was the hardest one would I go back and do it differently you know I don't know um you know I don't know how much I would change I definitely like I have regrets um I, one thing that really scared me was at the end when we kept Kyle and he won three challenges in a row. Uh, I was freaking out, you know, because we didn't, we didn't know what we were going to do if he won that last one. 
because um, we were both sure that he would, you know, whichever one of us he took to tribal council, they would pick him in a heartbeat. Um, and I think Survivor is kind of a, like a selfish game, like you have to look out for yourself. Um, and so may, like maybe vote Kyle out instead of you. All right, thank you, Michaela. Chris, you're up next. All right, I got a couple questions and a quick statement. Brett, this may be a little hell sketch, but... <laughs> Sure. Tell me why you think Emily should be the sole survivor. I think that she really like showed her organizing powers. Like, I don't know that people would listen to me like the, the way that they listen to Emily. But she did a, an amazing job of, of unifying our tribe um, and getting them, you know, when, when we had the numbers, getting them to pick off the other tribe one by one. Uh, so I think that's, that's a definite uh, plus for her. All right, then Emily, why do you think Brent should be the sole survivor? Well, funny you should ask. I just see it this way. We've all seen Brent's backside, and so I think he needs a head that's more proportional with his butt, so. <laughs> and I think he just looks like a survivor. You just look at Brent, he's a survivor. You look at me, and you're like, why is that girl sitting here? Like, honestly, she looks like crap. Get her out. Like, it's more natural for Brent. I'm not a survivor. I'm really not. All right, and then I just wanted to say, we've been out here three days. I've seen cows plenty of bugs, but I have seen two other things, snakes and rats. I think it's about time <laughs> for the snakes to start eating the rats. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's plagiarized. Yeah. However, I'm going to let that statement stand. <laughs> All right, Kia, you're up. Hey, guys. I am curious if you, if you feel that you were a pawn in the other scheme. In Like, I know you guys were scheming together and that you've had this alliance, but do you feel like you were a pawn in Brent's scheme at all to win? Like if you guys are both going out to be a survivor, like do you feel like you're being used as much as you've used the rest of the jury? I don't feel I don't feel used um, because obviously I, I don't even know. Like I think at at times like it would be smarter to have me in there because I'm not going to be a threat with Brent on physical challenges. So keeping me around. I never beat Brent on a physical challenge. Um, I don't know. I'm sure I could have been a pawn at some point. I don't know. Thank, Thank you, you Kia. <laughs> Michael. I'm going to kind of build off Kia's questions. For like, I know me and Kia really are probably one of the bigger reasons why you both are still here. And there's other people here too. Do you have anything to say to us or like the other jury or just like anyone who played like as, you know, like reasons why you should still be here when we got out to help you? I don't understand that last part, but um, I'll address the jury and just say, I think, I mean, I understand your guys' frustration. I would be extraordinarily frustrated too if I slept two cold nights out here and ended up on the jury and spent another cold night out here knowing you're gonna get nothing. But at the same time, it's like you have to think, would any of you guys do the same things? Like, people have to get voted out. Someone has to win and someone has to be on the jury. And so I would, I would, I understand your frustration because I would be there also. And what were the other parts of your questions? Well, just like any of us in like, do you think you're more like me and Kia? We're a big part in you guys. I already said I think Kia should be sitting up here and I think you're a snake right now. So you voted me out even though we said we had okay. this three thing. Like, so. I had to vote for someone. I mean, you could have voted for Brent, and then if you knew Kyle, you knew Kyle was going to vote for me. If you would have voted for Brent, it would have been a tie. Do you and really think? We, okay, seeing as how we were together the whole time between those two challenges, do you really think I had time to talk to Kyle? Yes. Well, then you're mistaken. What about you, Brent? Do you have anything to say? Could you repeat or rephrase? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, like, sorry. obviously, you screwed over. You guys screwed over a lot of people on the jury. A lot of people on the jury, you know, just feel like. They didn't even stand a chance because you knew you were on the same team. So, do you think that's really fair? Like, do you or do you feel sorry for screwing these people? Well, over? I don't think we knew that we, we, were, on the same we were on the same team. Are you track? sure? Yeah. Are you being totally honest? I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to say that? <laughs> what? I, would you? Would you like me to address the jury at all? Or? <laughs> Michael, like, I mean, really? Subject. I, I'm Kyle, really, I'm you have a question? Yeah, okay. This one's first, just for Brent. Why did you underestimate, underestimate me so much before I went on my three immunity win streak? I don't know. Um, we, we were honestly, we were trying to be nice uh, when we, because we, when we voted Michelle off. Um, I appreciate that. And, yeah, and like we were, we were hoping that you would be happier with us that way, 
Um, and you know, we were we were cocky to, to, to think that we could say, well, we'll, we'll vote Michelle off first. And, and for Emily, um, you were so quick to vote off Amanda because you felt she had she is basically a mastermind. Whereas I viewed you exactly the same as her. What do you think? How, how do you think you differ from her, or how do you think you are similar to her? Well, I think we are very similar. Like, but I think she had more of a. She also had a physical threat. Like, she she had she was the total package. She could do well physically in the challenges, but she also had that. She could. She was a you know a mental strategist. And I guess I think that could be a big assumption, but I think her game might have been dirtier. I mean, I'd say Amanda and I are pretty similar, but there are. I mean, I don't know how her game would have played out. Congratulations, both of you. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Kyle.